know, Sundar was just saying that it was six years yesterday when he started. March 11th, 2011. 2011. So we showed up here right. at 5.15. And we walk into the room, we go to the last back corner. Right. Luca comes out and says, I'm going to be your instructor. Yeah. And me and my mother-in-law, we just truly, we were like zap because we did not, our idea of yoga teachers was a big belly, old guy with a beard and a lion cloth, maybe, maybe he's part of the lion cloth kind of thing. Someone who was semi-retired or like way past retirement age. That was our idea of oh who gosh, we thought was going to be. Oh my gosh, right, okay. So, yeah. skinny no, Japanese no, woman, yeah, two skinny pieces, Japanese like, uh, woman, right, yeah. <laughs> my mother and I like, are we at the right oh place? Oh my gosh. <laughs> we barely yeah. survived that class. Wow. So, we barely survived the class. Wow. Both of us are coming out of injury. Wow. And both of us were. Did like, you sit and stuff too? Yeah. No. No, you didn't. No, we all. didn't. Wow. We didn't sit at all. Wow. We tried. We didn't wow. look anything like what it was supposed to be. Yeah. But it didn't matter. Right. But we tried yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. I was also extremely stressed out during that time. My doctor yeah. told me that I have to make some changes or I, I have to change my jobs or I have to change my lifestyle or do something, which was part of the. Right. I was very overweight, I was depressed, I wasn't right. exactly happy. Wow. Then I decided that, you know what, this is not for me. Mm -hmm. I was about to give up on it. Yeah. So the next day, my mother-in-law was very adamant. She says, no, I want to go. I think this is be good for you. We should go. And she basically pushed me. And we came nine out of the ten days. Yeah. I walk around at work and people think I'm going to quit because I'm that happy. And Everybody was like, you're so happy, what's going on? Then suddenly everybody started noticing a change. Yeah. Because people look at you and you go, you changed. Wow. Everything started becoming better because at one point you didn't know which was the broken hand, right? Yeah. You're going to put these braces for the next six months. I said, no problem. Yeah. And, but he said, I need to sh you to show me that you can get the strength back in your hand. Only then I can remove it. So they keep sending me to physio, but I can't get the strength back because it hurts. Try the hot yoga because instead of me sitting here and dipping your hand in paraffin wax and doing all this treatment, if you go there, your whole body is warm, so you could your whole body will be relaxed, so you can go at your own pace, mm -hmm. and you, it's go, basically doing what I'm doing here, except you don't have to use weights; you use your own body's resistance. So now March 11th, I came here. September 27th, I had the surgery. I got it removed. Wow! So I had enough strength, and then I talked to you, and yeah. you said. It's okay, show up, sit in the last row and just get used to the heat. Yeah. So the day after the surgery, I was here. I just sat through wow. the last row, didn't do anything. Right. Just held down mm -hmm. and didn't do anything yep. because I had a band-aid here. Yep. And day three, I got the band-aid removed. I still had the suture, but I was still doing everything. And I went there for the one month x-ray. The radiologist called me in the evening and he said, the head of orthopedics needs to see you in person. So I call the guy and say, okay, wow. who, why is something bad? And he goes, I don't know. I looked at your x-rays. I'm not supposed to talk to you because I'm not the doctor. But I couldn't find anything wrong in the x-ray. But I'm not supposed to. The radiologist is not the doctor. So they just say, I don't know why. So you should, you should meet him tomorrow. So I go there and this guy comes out for surgery and he goes, oh, thank you for coming. I really wanted to talk to you after looking at your x-ray. I said, okay, everything good? He goes, too good. Because I've never seen anything like this in my 25 years of being an orthopedic oh surgeon. Oh my gosh, wow. He says, all your plates, the screw holes are all closed completely. Come on. He said, usually that happens only after three months. That's why we have a one month, two month, three month x-ray. I've never seen anything like it. Wow. And he goes, are you on some special diet? Are you doing something special? Because right. this is a miracle. He used the word, this is a miracle. Wow. And he says, he looks at some hand and he goes, do you see how much hair you have on this hand compared to this hand? Yeah. And how your fingernails are much longer than this? Yeah. Somehow your body is sending all the regeneration stuff to your broken area, oh which is gosh. normal, but he has not seen something rapid. this yeah. rapid it is. Mm -hmm. So then I told him, I, I'm just drinking a lot of coconut water yeah. <laughs> and that's about it. And he goes, what? And he, I, I told him, yeah. I go do the Bikram Yoga in yeah. San Jose and he said, I'm going to keep that in mind and next time I see something like this, I'm going to recommend that wow. to people. I mean, I see your scar still. Yeah, I mean, that is, is like yeah, a big now, scar and there's no I'm difference. Do when that. you're doing class, and, and you don't feel it, nothing at all. And getting my life back is not about being able to use your hands. No. It's able to lift your kid up again, yeah. open the refrigerator door yeah. again. I thank this place because I got my life back.